Sasha. The tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr Magnifico fight. Mr Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh! Come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you? Have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. Ha! First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of junior first aider. With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a First Aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your First Aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean... How hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. <laughs> ah, there. That's our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just might... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up. Nasha? Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Frozen chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> Mm. Huh? <laughs> Your patient.
patient is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. Job done! Uh. Hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! Help! What about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> Still on the 
skateboard, Dennis. Shame your parents can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masher. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get the skateboard? Good behaviour is the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> <laughs> you never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry your valise for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No, 
Oh, doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys. I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the Best Behaviour Prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> Now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Hey? Nothing could be further from the truth. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis We're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our lives and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> oh. Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. Oh, 
Attention, class! Today we're visiting an important archaeological site where traces of the lost tribe of Beano Town have been found. How exciting! I could be descended from a mighty warrior! Mmm, lemon drops. I don't know about a mighty warrior, Walter. <coughs> but those lemon drops are pretty fierce. My organic citrus fizzers are meant to be savoured, Dennis, not guzzled. <gasps> it's awesome! It's tiny! <gasps> oh, boys, really? What's that dog doing here? Ah, oh, well, he's interested in bones, you see, and... Oh, never mind. We'll discuss it later. Uh, you were saying? Yes, this buckle is evidence that Beano Town was once home to a warrior mm. tribe. Ancient heroes. Did someone say hero? The name's Montana Smith. I believe you're expecting me. Oh, Professor Smith! It's such an honor to meet you! I've read all your books! Ah, pleasure. Always glad to meet a lover of archaeology. Now, stand back, Walter. Uh, Professor Smith here is on, uh, he's on p police business. He's helping track down the ancient scroll that was stolen from Beano Town Museum last week. Oh, I never realised archaeologists could be so handsome and rugged. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, come along, children. Uh, let's see what interesting artefacts we can find. More buckles? I don't think so. I bet we could find some real warrior tribe stuff. Come on! Like Nash is onto something. <laughs> Hang on, Nasher. We're not looking for bones. <laughs> no, Nasher! Come back! Hang on! Wait! Where are you going? And that's all there is to know about trowels, spades, and digging implements. <laughs> uh, terribly sorry about that. Um,. Uh, I seem to have lost Montana Smith. Um, did he come this way? <laughs> Nasha! Stop! Wait for us! Oh, I see. What, what is going on? Come back here with that boon! Oh, leave this to me. I have a great deal of experience with this kind of thing. I've got to see this. It'll serve him right, running riot over such a sensitive site of historical importance. Can't you make him let go, then? I'm trying. But it's been a while since breakfast. Damn this! Uh-oh! We're in trouble now! Oh, come on, Nasha, let go! We've got to get out of here! Ah! Oh. Ah. Quick, this way! <laughs> Looks like we've given them the slip. Check this out! I knew it! It's not Walter, it's me! I'm descended from the ancient warrior tribe! Mmm, an ancient warrior pie! <laughs> Mrs. Creature, I found them! How do you boys find me? Uh, I mean, uh, get down here. It's not safe. I don't get it. What's he doing down here? He must have known about the trap door. Dude, look. The scroll from the museum. You stole it. You got it, kid. I knew about the trap door, all right. The scroll led me right to the pie button. You're not an archaeologist at all. 
Why'd you steal it? The treasure of the lost tribe. <laughs> it's gonna make me rich. Oh, a word of advice. Don't try to follow me. <laughs> Did you hear that? The treasure of the lost tribe. What's with the weird moves? Come on, we've got to stop him. We got to defend my ancestor's treasure. I just can't believe it. Professor Smith, I don't understand. I thought you <laughs> <laughs> a booby trap! Ah, no. oh, those eggs must be hundreds of years old! God, no wonder they whiff! That's why Smith was doing those strange moves! That scroll tells him where the booby traps are, too! Walter, if we follow Smith, he'll lead us to the treasure of the lost tribe. Just get me down! Don't worry, that rope's so old it'll break any... <laughs> Moment! Leave me alone! I'm fine! I'm just a bit dizzy, that's all! Jump for it! <laughs> wow! The treasure of the lost tribe! And that's gotta be King Dennis! Hey, you leave my ancestor stuff alone! Sorry, Sonny. I'm here for the treasure. And I'm not gonna let a bunch of meddling kids stop me. Take that! <laughs> oh, 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 you little one. Come on, lads! Run for it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! The gunch pit! Okay, boys, the game's over. Here, Walter, you got any of those lemon drops left? Yes. Why? Just give them to me! <laughs> Told you they were fish! Oh, no, 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 no sign of them. Oh, but don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll track them down. Oh, Dennis and his friends are always off somewhere getting up to mischief. But it's most unusual for Walter to disappear. Oh, I do hope he's all right. Hang on. I recognise this. So do I. It's awful, isn't it? Dennis, a descendant from a warrior tribe! It's part of the treasure of the lost tribe. Where did you find it? There's a cave full of the stuff, and he was going to run off with it. Was Montana who stole the ancient scroll from the museum? He was using it to find the treasure. No, not Montana Smith. I say you're an absolute disgrace. The whole profession of archaeology is embarrassed. There's a turn up for the books. Oh, uh, right. Well, I had uh, I'd better take you down the station, um, Montana. Well done, Dennis. That'll teach you to mess with the warrior tribes of Dennis. Ah, peace and quiet.
first day of the holidays and it seems Dennis has finally discovered the joys of having a lie-in. Ah! Quarter to eight! Wait! Bye, Mum! Bye, Dad! Dennis, your breakfast! <laughs> Dennis! Have you made me face, washed me bed, changed me hair, combed me underpants? Yeah! But why all the rush? First day of the halls, Mum! Got to get out early and do stuff before the town gets to... <laughs> ..busy. We are not waiting in that! OK, no worries. I got a plan. Stand aside, folks. Stand aside. Official business. Oi, who are you? Government taste inspectors, sir. Ice cream division. Well, uh, that was a kid's bus pass. Ah, uh, uh, that's cos we're undercover. Undercover? You just told me who you were. Look, are you going to let us taste inspect your ice cream or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> Hang on. Ain't you the dopey one what hangs around with Dennis? Don't be daft. He doesn't wear glasses like these. Oops. Oh. Maybe try the zoo instead? <laughs> OK, no worries. I got a plan. <laughs> ah! Run for your lives! A lion has escaped! <laughs> Run, I say! His ferocious jaws will tear you! Lim. Fun fair? Oh, oh, I know this bit. You got a flan. Right, Dan? Plan, pie face. I got a plan. Never again! Those rides were way too extreme! Yeah! Wouldn't go in there unless you like being really sick! <laughs> wow! Cool! Let's do it. Oh, OK. Looks like this may require some serious thought. Is that Neptune or Uranus? So, actually, if we want to be sure we don't have to wait around tomorrow, the easiest thing would be to get rid of everyone in Beano Town. So, easy in the sense of really, really hard, then? If people were pies, that'd be easy. Come on, guys! Ideas! How do you vanish 10,000 people? Ha! Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Excellent. Not a star out of place. Just the way I like it. <gasps> What's that? Whoa. Looks like an asteroid. And it's heading straight for Beano Town. Polish me, kit bag. I think you're right. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision. Better alert the Neighbourhood Watch. Neighbourhood Watch here. Red alert, Corporal. We have a 196. Repeat, a 196. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision? Are you sure, sir? Positive. Sound the alarm, lad. Repeat, this is not a drill. Reno Town must be evacuated immediately. Dennis, B. We're in the car, Dad. <laughs> OK, let's go! <laughs> now that is what I call extreme menacing. Better get some sleep, Nasha, cos tomorrow we've got Beano Town to ourselves! <laughs> well, lads, who's for ice cream? Uh, Dan, minor problem. Uh, there's no one to serve us. So we leave some money and serve ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, OK, look for some kind of big squirty lever thingy. Go! Nasha's found 
found a big squirty lever thingy. Uh, Den, isn't that the handbrake? For us all, I had this with me last night. Uh, what's that there, Colonel? Well, starch me, civvies. I do believe I've been deceived. What? But who would do something like that? Dennis, do you know? <laughs> I don't like to think what they'll do when we run out of... Menacing monkeys! <laughs> ha! Come on! A one, two, three, four! You sure this will work, Dad? Are you kidding? The din makers appeal to the ape in all of us! <laughs> yes! Now back to that fun fair! Dennis! Inside, right now! If there's a way you could make matters worse today, Dennis, I fail to see it. Oh, you will. Ah! Hey, Den, coming out to... Oh, what is that smell? Gorilla poo. Mum made me clean up the house as punishment. Well, you could have had a shower, mate. Nah, cos I got a plan. Come on! Oh! 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 Oh, <laughs> 
What is it, Nasha? Oi! was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> 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 to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! Okay! So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined! Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you! But you can't do that! It's not yours! Can't I? Watch me! No! Wait! Hello? Dennis, where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Sure, 
Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So, the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Nasha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. Then, son? Oh no, not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh, oh no! Stop! It's no good, Pie Face! Oh! We're in trouble! It's the school concert. 
it in a couple of days. And without Curly on drums, even Walter's soppy trio will sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boobips. What bips? Boobips. You know, they're on TV. Boobips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect everyone. All right, then. So what do you reckon Curly's up to, then? Only one way to find out. <laughs> For Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Ooh, bits are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you come back. I can't believe it. He's thrown his burger away. He doesn't really want the food. He just wants the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! Good news? OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him! Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. <sighs> he's going to your house, then. No, he's not. He's going to... Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? <laughs> I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips, and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the undisputed stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Jolly <Stop> good! <laughs> Shh! Here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boo bip in with his pals. Uh, you said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of Boo course, Bip, Curly Bop. Yeah, Boo, OK. Uh, Bop. I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> it's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway, it sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. <laughs> OK, everyone, you know the drill. This shouldn't take long. A warm wim boobip! The rarest boobip of all! And now that you belong to me, Mr. Wom-Wim, I can use you to control that silly boy Curly. This could mean the end of the din makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis! Huh! We'll see about that! <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobit ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, almost. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, 
Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boo bits. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boo bits. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So you'll not want the one whim we got you then? Oh, no. Uh... You got me a one whim? Yep. Okay, I do collect boobips. And yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta da! <laughs> is this a joke? Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. That's not a fake. Yeah, Dan should know. He made it. Okay, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one whim. But we're still broke, then, And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one whim. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I uh, know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bob Chaps. Oh, oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one whim. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry, it's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. I'm doing gardening. I'm walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? <laughs> Friends for life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll. I knew it. They've ruined the tone of the whole evening. Well done, son. You certainly rocked out. Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocks. And we've still got all that money too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creech's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>